Hello chess friends and welcome to Azarov's chess channel and welcome to my best chess games of all time series. So in this series we see the best of the best of course, the best chess games that have been ever played in chess history and today I wanted to show you a very nice game played by Edwin Ziegler Adams against uh, Carlos Torre Repetto and Carlos Torre Repetto was uh, one of the most talented players in the, in the early uh, 20th century but uh, here Edwin Ziegler Adams he was sort of an unknown player at that time and uh, it's also unclear if, of, if uh, this game really happened because uh, after 57 years uh, Tori mentioned that uh, it was this game was uh, sort of part of his uh, analysis and uh, okay well they both know if really that have uh, this game happened it uh, really doesn't matter because I wanted to show you this very nice game which is also called uh, Take My Wife Please in some uh, ch uh, chess history books of course because you see why because uh, here Edwin uh, Ziegler Adams will show a very very nice uh, uh, and attractive deflection motifs he will uh, offer the queen uh, many many times in this game but uh, this qu queen uh, would will, will this queen will be really uh, a poisonish one because if you take the queen then you lose the game so let's see now this poison queen by by this uh, legendary player Ziegler Adams so here uh, we have um, e4 and uh, e5 uh, knight on f3 and here d6 uh, this is now the Philidor defense and uh, okay I'm gonna talk about now openings uh, more because uh, I have uh, sort of discussion about uh, about the Karokan and the French defense and I've uh, in my comments I've uh, I've said that I like the French defense more and uh, w w which opening I really don't like is this Philidor defense uh, this uh, I like maybe more the Perth defense uh, it's really different than the Philidor defense but this d6 really now uh, you have here the possibility to play immediately uh, d4 and uh, you see uh, well black is forced here to do immediately something in in the center so we have here uh, uh, e takes d4 and now queen takes on d4 so okay uh, you could have taken here with the knight uh, but okay it uh, breaks our rule to not play with the same piece twice in an opening so i like this queen on d4 idea so here knight on c6 and now bishop on b5 and uh, i really like this style because you see we have played one more uh, one time with our knight one time with our queen one time with our bishop now bishop on d7 was of course played but uh, of, of course now the queen is endangered here because no uh, uh, no pinning uh, is here present anymore so here uh, bishop on c6 was played uh, bishop takes on c6 and now uh, knight on c3 okay uh, we lost the bishop pair as white but uh, we are continuing the game you see with the two very strong knights in the center the queen is also a, a good place here and here on d4 and we have here an advanced pawn on e4 so this is a very a very nice central control so far by white and uh, i really like it because uh, you have also possibilities to uh, jump with your knight on d5 which will be very very hard to 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 uh, get rid of it on on, on this uh, very nice square so that's why uh, you see with uh, you, we have uh, possibilities to gain some space uh, in this early stage of the game so I think uh, it, uh, this uh, bishop pair is not so important anymore in the continuation of the game so knight on f6 and now castling so you see uh, development castling simply healthy chess as I like to say it here bishop on uh, e7 and now knight on d5 as said. Uh, we have here bishop takes on d5 e takes d5 and now we have an advanced pawn and the good thing that of course this pawn is uh, on the square on the like square and blocks out here uh, this uh, pawn on d6 which is uh, really blocking out this bishop and uh, it will be also important in the continuation of this game because uh, you see the knight doesn't have uh, good squares to jump around the bishop is also uh, blocked meanwhile you see our knight is uh, better placed and we have also a uh, very nice diagonal for the bishop and in the next move of course we can 
play a rook on the semi-open e file so well uh, white uh, relied here really on this fast development idea which i really like in an opening and i think uh, this game is also an, instru an instructive one because uh, there uh, you see in a chess game you don't have to uh, have so many pieces on the board uh, you have uh, here uh, as i said the space advantage on the uh, on with the spawn on d5 and uh, we can rely simply onto that uh, one one slightly advantage of course uh, sometimes can lead to into winning games so here uh, castling by black uh, bishop on uh, bishop on g5 and uh, here maybe uh, black should have played h6 because uh, white uh, will be forced then to play maybe bishop on f4 bishop on e3 or bishop uh, on d2 even because if he tries and uh, tries to stay on this diagonal here uh well bishop uh, on h4 maybe here uh, then you get knight on d5 this is a common uh, tactical motive uh, for you who um, are not uh, maybe uh, an experienced player uh, when you have the spinning situation here and this advanced uh, pawn on d5 you have um, uh, sometimes this possibility to take out this knight because the knight protects also this e7 but the problem is that uh, here uh, uh you have to play of course the f uh, first uh, the move h6 in order uh, to bring the bishop here on this on this square uh on the square uh, h4 because if you do it now if you do this now then you get a queen on d5 which is then also protecting uh, the bishop on g5 so in the game was played uh, c6 and of course white uh, relies as i said on the simply space advantage on the fifth rank so uh, i've talked about it in my middle game strategy uh, series here uh, d5 we want to have uh, some pieces and pawns on the other other side of the, of the board of our opponents of course uh, here uh, c takes d5 and now of course c takes d5 again we have uh, a pawn on d5 so very nice positional play by by white so rook on e8 was played of course rook on e1 we want to bring also our rooks into the game so a5 and now rook on e2 uh, again this knight on d5 idea doesn't work because you can simply recapture here the uh, the knight on d5 and uh, again you see if you try something like this then you get first rook on e8 so as i said now the idea doesn't work anymore with this h6 preparation a couple of moves ago it will be perfectly fine so now white is uh, really building here a very nice battery on the ifa with these rooks rook on c8 was played and now this other rook comes on e1 uh queen on uh queen on d7 and now very strong idea by sealer adams here bishop takes on f6 bishop takes on f6 and now uh the show the show st starts here uh, we have here a very strong move queen on g4 so offering the queen of course the queen cannot take because you get checkmated on on the eighth rank so this was sort of a deflection move and uh, it's uh, it's a tactical idea of this deflection it can also be called this overload uh this overload of this uh, defensive pieces so very very nice idea queen on g4 but that's not the point here because uh, we get this deflection motifs even more and more in this game so see uh black uh, tries to escape with the queen and now you get queen on c4 again with the same idea if the rook takes of course then you get checkmated on e8 if the queen takes of course with the same idea so what to do now here from from black's perspective he has uh, again uh, he's trying here queen on d d7 but now you get uh, queen on c7 again this overload um, this overload tactical motive queen on c7 again if the queen takes if the rook takes you get checkmated on e8 so now uh, queen on uh, b5 was played and now a4 again uh, if you try uh, somehow maybe t take out the rook then of course uh, we can take uh, recap if you try some something like this then of course we can recapture if you take uh, the rook here on on e2 then you get uh, queen takes on c8 and the same idea if you take the queen then you get rook on e8 checkmate so 
after a4 queen on a4 was played and now rook on e4 again attacking the queen uh, this i feel a little bit sorry now for this queen because again uh, this uh, tactical motive so here queen on b5 was played and now uh, queen takes on b7 and this is the, the position in which uh, well black resigned uh, because there are no uh, there are no squares uh, left anymore for for the queen the queen would have maybe uh, have to come here on uh, a4 i don't know there there are no simply squares anymore for the queen to escape of this overload uh, motif so here queen on a4 would be a continuation but then you can simply uh, take out the queen the rook takes uh, rook here but the knight uh, is also protecting here this first rank so oh, very very nice tactical tactical idea here by white so i hope you enjoyed this game you see this overload uh, system uh, and this overload uh, tactical motive i've also explained in my chess tactics uh, chess puzzle series so you can see this video of course and uh, of course you can also uh, watch my other uh, best chess games of all time videos and of course guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and chess is the best of course